lectures, we're going to be dealing with relationships, right? Uh, I spoke to you a little bit about that on the intro, but what you don't know is that Laravel has a couple different relationships. It has a one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-many, polymorphic, uh, polymorphic, uh, one-to-one, polymorphic, many-to-many. -many. I mean, it has different relationship uh, models, or should I say functionality, okay? Now, we talked about you know, that relationships are functions that relate tables to tables, right? And that's what they are. Now they work differently, all right? So in a one-to-one -one relationship, we could say something like, okay, the user has one post, all right? Or they use it in a many-to-many -many or one-to-many, the user has many posts, something like that. That's how we, we, we define them, all right? We, and they have very similar functions as, as they are pronounced, all right? So if we pronounce... You know, this user has one post, the method is has one. I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, we're going to be dealing with the model. So, we also need to uh, create a column in the, in this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a couple posts that are going to, and we're going to say the user has one post, right? And we're going to relate those two there so that way we can pull out all the user's posts. So, for that, we need to go to the child, in this case, it's going to be to the parent, all right? And we need to write a function here, first of all, all right? But before we do that, let's actually create a the column in post, all right? In the migration post. Actually, if I could find the migration, I can't believe this is the migration for post, right here. There we go. All right, so now what we need to do is add a user ID to our post table, okay? So I'm going to actually do a reset, uh, refresh, because uh, I don't want to be adding a lot of migrations here just to add a user table. We can if we want to. Um, as, as a matter of fact, let me look at the database. Uh, the uh, we don't I don't have any data so it really doesn't matter for me if you have a lot of data leave it there and just add the table with a migration okay you know how to do that already but anyway I'm gonna do an integer here and it's gonna be user ID and I'll explain to you why we need this and it's gonna be unsigned because we want all in positive numbers here so now once we have this make sure that you refresh or do migrate again if you're creating a table. Now this column should be available in your post structure user ID is an integer default on 10. Okay, beautiful. Now what we need is some data, right? So let's actually insert it through here. That way we don't have to uncomment that. All right. So the user ID is going to be one. We haven't created a user. Let's do that first. So insert a user. I'm going to name it Edwin. GS email Edwin at codingfaculty.com. Password uh, one, two, and three. Really doesn't matter. All this data here doesn't matter. There we go. So now that we have a user, we can go ahead and go to the post table and create a couple posts. I'm just going to say PHP post one and some gibberish content. It really doesn't matter, like I said. And I'm going to take this off from here and I'm going to create that's it, just one post. And I'm going to actually ignore that because I just want to create one post so you can see what's going on. I'm going to put some timestamp. All right. Go for column user ID. Huh. Let's go back. What did we do there? We didn't put a user ID. Let's put one. Okay, cool. All right. So now that we have done that, what we need to do is write a functionality. I'll show you right now what we need to do. Let's go to our user model. And here we are going to be writing that function that I, would, I was talking about that I, is going to do all the job for us, the query, all that query. So public 
function, and we can, we can call it whatever we want. In this case, we're going to call it post. And I'll tell you in a minute what it's going to do. But it just makes sense to call it post, right? Because we want to pull out the user's post. So return this because this method belongs to this to the model. That's why we use the word this. If you don't know about that, you need to take my PHP OOP course, okay? So this has, and these are pre-built functions or methods, has one post forward. This is a backslash post. And here what we're writing is the namespace, okay? There we go. So that's all you got to do. Now what this function, what this is going to do, this is going to go to the post table because we gave it the namespace and it's going to look for the column user ID automatically. This column like this, user ID. This is by default. Okay. By default is going to do that. Now, if you want to specify a different column, you put it as a second parameter here, comma, and you can say the user ID if you named it differently. All right. So if you went ahead and you went to your post here and you name this differently, this is where that's where you change it. All right. Okay. This is where you change it. You, you give it a second parameter. Now, this is if you also are, you know, using have a different ID for your post, if you have a different ID on here, you can change that as a third parameter and you can define it there. Okay. So where is it right here? You can go and write the third one. The third parameter is going to belong to the other, to the ID field. Okay. All right. But we don't have it like that. We're going to leave it as default like this. We're going to touch on this later on in the application. So don't worry about it right now. Just try to understand what we're doing. And if you don't understand it, you do it a couple of times and you will understand it. I can guarantee you that. All right. So now that we have this and we have some data, we can pull out some information. We can pull out the user's post. So let's go and create a route real quick. And let's just write, let's just comment this out because this is super important, guys. Let's just put a comment here. Now, relationships are going to make it a lot easier for you to create categories for posts, for create posts related to users. I mean, everything we do in an application is relating data most of the time with other tables, right? So learn this really good and you should have a really cool application. All right. So eloquent relationships. All right. I love the spell check, right? If you misspell it, it, it will let you know. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. So now here, let's create a route. And usually the route will go with ID. In this case, we could do it like that if we want. Oh, what am I doing? We forgot everything. <laughs> so let's do it with the ID. All right. So we're going to say user post. So we're going to find the user first with ID number one or whatever ID we give it. I'm just going to, we only have one user, but just for the heck of it, I'm just going to put it as a, an ID there. So that way you can get used to seeing that. All right, there we go. As a matter of fact, we just say user ID and then the post like this. Okay. All right. So let's go and find the user first. User. And I want you to do one thing. I already did it, but let me see if I did that already. I did it, but you weren't looking when I did it. Actually, I didn't do that. Make sure that you import your user model like this. If you have, in order for us to use the, the model, that class, we have to import it, right? So that's what we do, the use. But you remember that if you have PHP Store, all you have to do is click on this light bulb when you put your mouse cursor there. You wait for that and you can import that class. But anyway, we find the user with ID number one, right? Okay, say user. And look at this. 
As a matter of fact, I don't even need that. We can go and say, I want the user's post. Just like this. Return. All right. Now that's going to be really strange for you, I know. Really strange. And as a matter of fact, we don't need that one. We can do ID here. There we go. Let's just do that. All right. So we say user with ID number one and give me the post. Enter. And as you can see, we got the post of that, I, that user. Isn't that cool, guys? Super cool, right? Really cool stuff. All right. You can pull out more information about this, of course. You can pull out that post um, title. Title like this. And enter. As you can see. And you access those columns as property. This is what the cool thing about it is. All right. Just like properties, you can chain them like this and access them. Look at that. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? All right. And of course, you can pull that information out and save it to your database. All right. Just like how we learned it. You can apply different values to that. All right. So just in case you want to pull this information out, you can. And you can assign different content to it. All right. So just keep that in mind. All right. Beautiful. So anyway. Now you know how to how to do the has one relationship, and this is has one. So if you want to put a comment here, you can. You can say has or one to one relationship. One to one relationship. This is super important. So I'm telling you right now, write it down or something. One to one relationship. Okay. Anyway, practice a lot. Write it again if it didn't work for you. Ask questions. It's okay. But I only take questions if you've been stuck for a couple hours or a couple of days, all right? Because I want to make sure that you learn this stuff by actually putting the hard work to it, into it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next relationship. Take care.